Hey guys, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and welcome to a kind of strange little update video, I guess you could say. Um, today, I'm going to be kind of primarily focusing on having an open response to the kind of intense hatred that came toward me yesterday from the Eric Prids subreddit. It has gotten better uh, within overnight, basically, but uh, if you guys don't know what kind of went down, is I uploaded my Eric Prids album review, and because I had given it a 5.5 and had kind of shared my opinion, and I guess I was wrong about a couple things, but basically what happened is someone posted it on the Eric Prids subreddit, and everyone was freaking out. Um, I've gotten almost 200 views out of it, which is in a way a good thing. At the same time, the video is sporting about nine dislikes opposed to the three likes that I've gotten. Because of that, I thought I'd kind of discuss an open response about what I do, why I do it. Now, the first thing I'd like to talk about is I'm not a huge Eric Prids fan. Now, by that, I mean I, I'm in all aspects a casual fan. I've listened to Eric Prids every once in a while. I really haven't kept up with him since the very beginning. I've just gotten into dance music around the 2010-2011 uh, era. What, what people have tried to explain in kind of a harsh way is that this album was not necessarily supposed to be necessarily groundbreaking or anything. I didn't think it was, which I guess was kind of the purpose. This album was apparently supposed to be a gift to his fans. Um, some of these tracks are a lot older than I thought they were, and in a new way that's made me see the album in a new light. Now the thing is, I'm not going to take back my rating because how I rate albums is based on a new music standard. Um, when I re go in to review an album, I hope to hear something different, something exciting, something groundbreaking, and this album, although it wasn't supposed to be, that's just how I review things, that's how things go down, and being one of the only EDM album reviewers, um, on YouTube, all of that hate kind of came toward me, even though I tend to review things in a different way. Now this channel isn't meant to be a channel dedicated to hardcore fans of things. Like, um, I do heavily regret my review of Spore's Caligo last year, which I gave a solid 7, but people were actually pretty freaked out by it, calling me an idiot and lots of other mean things, telling me to kill myself, things like that. And that's kind of the community that the internet seems to have with its really hardcore fans like that. I'm sure Prids wouldn't enjoy his fans reacting to something like this, which is just a criticism based in, on my opinion and my opinion only. That's what this channel is for, at least on my review side. I'm here to provide my subscribers with a complete opinionated review of uh, just what I think about music. This isn't intended to be reviews heavily based on my knowledge of the artist or anything like that. It's just I listen to it once or twice, I go in, I review it, give my direct thoughts, and then have people kind of share their comments, and that's kind of the fun of it. The whole purpose of this channel, obviously, is not to have it posted on uh, somewhere where there's extremely dedicated fans that are going to lash out at me. Now, Eric Prid's subreddit. You guys have made some interesting comments. I'm right here, right now, looking at it. One user commented that I gave this one a 5.5, even though I gave Bieber's album a fairly good rating and featured it in my top 10 albums of the year. The thing that works about uh, my channel is that I, like I said, I go for things that are more groundbreaking and more interesting and surprising to hear from an artist, and that's what's going to get a good rating from me. For Bieber, I think that was his best work that he's ever made in his life. For Eric Prids, I didn't think that was the case, so that's why he's a little lower and Bieber's a little higher, um, even though Eric Prids' production value is probably a lot better than that of what we hear on Bieber's vocals, for example. Now, there were a couple people kind of defending me, and I really do appreciate that, just kind of talking about the fact that I'm a casual fan. I'm not a huge Eric Prince fan. Like, I do like a lot of his classic tunes, but with this full album, um, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting it to be, and therefore was a bit disappointing. Now, a 5.5 isn't bad at all, considering I think I gave Laidback Luke and Carnage both a solid 2 last year, and those didn't necessarily get a lot of backlash. I gave Black Tiger Sex Machine a solid 3 just last week, and even though I might seem like I'm constantly pushing these ratings that seem really bad, um, overall my reviews are just to kind of get out my immediate thoughts, what I'm thinking through when I'm hearing albums like this, just kind of go over that and then stamp a on it. It's not meant to be any kind of thing that I really want fans to look to and say, okay, I'm not going to listen to this album until I hear Landon's <laughs> review and hear his rating. It's not meant to be like that. If you're a fan, um, I want you to have listened to this album, and I, um, it's also to encourage promotion, like with Lone Moon's album, I did a review of his uh, almost strictly just so more people would check it out because I gave it a good rating and I really liked it. On the other hand, when I review big albums like this, 
it's meant to be more of a, hey, uh, most people are going to listen to it anyway, and then I just want people to come back and hear my thoughts on it. It's not meant to be something that really pushes people away. And uh, I, do want peop I do want to encourage Prids and encourage Prids' fans to enjoy this album if they do like it. I'm not trying to change any opinions. And overall, I really just want to make a channel where people enjoy the kind of things that I talk about. Like I said, it's my opinion. Um, it's not your opinion, Eric Prids subreddit. Even if I really wanted to, I couldn't give this higher than a 5.5 because honestly, I just feel wrong about doing it because that would be lying to myself and lying to you guys about what I think about the album. Um, I had a friend say that this album was no lower than a 7.5. Well, that's your opinion, and I have my own opinion of it. If I just gave it a rating and didn't think truthfully what I thought about this album, and as a casual fan, this is the kind of rating that I would have given it. Now, on the other hand, we've got these, these fans on the subreddit that I go and comment to respond to things, and people are just downvoting my comments just for explaining myself, and honestly, I think that's very immature and I thought that should be addressed at least for now. In the meantime, I do appreciate all the support my other viewers have given me I kind of see uh, where I'm coming from and why I gave it the rating that I did. I know there's going to be hate, and especially from new viewers. This, um, when I do reviews primarily now, it's for the viewers that have been here for a while, have kind of seen where I'm coming from, where the channel has gone, and how I've kind of built up my reviews and gotten better and better at them. And I thank you to whoever posted my video on the Eric Prid subreddit because that's been getting me quite a number of views, which I've been, uh, which I haven't been excited about in a while. It's just completely shot up. The last time that happened is when I posted my puppet review view on the Monster Cat subreddit, which uh, is one of my most viewed recent videos. My last note to the Eric Prid subreddit is um, to just keep an open mind about things. If you're a hardcore fan and you weren't disappointed with the album, then good for you. Um, if you enjoyed it, then that's all I wanted you to do. And if you see other people reviewing it and giving it kind of negative comments, try to understand where they're coming from and just be able to be more accepting of other people's opinions because not everybody thinks the same way as you and other hardcore fans. So anyway, hope you guys um, are okay with this kind of weird update video. I know I, I'm just really hoping a couple people from the subreddit kind of see this and are able to kind of appreciate me taking the time to make this response. And for the viewers who are just here kind of on a random occasion, um, sorry I had to put you through this really long update video just to hear me talk about a subreddit that you have nothing to do with. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.